Hello everyone. I'm sorry if this is a little more serious than what I usually upload. However, something has recently come to my attention that has completely upended everything I thought I knew about this game. And so I decided to make a video to bring to light this issue that has gone unnoticed for far too long. Everything you thought you knew about this game's treasured history is a lie. As it turns out, the infamous player Riot has been a hacker all this time, right under our noses. Let me explain to you how and why Riot cheated, as well as provide the proof that led me to this discovery. It's understandable that some of you might not be able to fathom why our beloved Riot would do such a thing. It was pretty shocking to me too. The simple truth is that Riot was hoping to become rich and famous by convincing the GD community that he was one of the best players of all time. He did this along with his friend Cyclic. However, after Cyclic was exposed, Riot got increasingly bored with what he was doing and eventually grew up and decided that showing off to a bunch of kindergartners was not an honest way to make a living. So he faked Carpal Tunnel Syndrome and got his YouTube channel terminated before drifting out of the community, opting to remain in the shadows of GD Twitter. However, all of that changed in early 2020. With his father losing his job due to the coronavirus pandemic, Riot could no longer afford his monthly subscription to watch Waifu Tentacle Hentai on Netflix. Because of this, in the year or so that it took for Riot's dad to get a new job, he got his channel reinstated and continued his malicious practices from earlier. Now that his father is re-employed, though, Riot saw no reason to continue to push his luck especially as he has gotten worse at hiding his hacks nowadays. Despite this, it was already too little too late, as one mistake has now opened my eyes to just how much he's been sheeping us over the years. And now that Pandora's box is open, I can't believe that I didn't realize this earlier. With the backstory out of the way, I think it's time that we get into the actual proof to expose this man once and for all. For the most part, Riot doesn't even bother trying to hide his hacks for his minor achievements. People aren't really going to notice when they don't care all that much. He clearly autoed or botted all of those levels, but today we'll be focusing on the one that everyone needs to know about, Sonic Wave. First of all, I'd like to quickly point out that he supposedly struggled on this demon for months and now all of a sudden he can do it no problem? Definitely not suspicious. Now, of all of his completions, this one probably seems the most legitimate due to the fact that it uses a face cam, making it impossible to hide speed hacks. However, here at Root Beer Float Has headquarters, we know how to read between the lines and consider all possibilities. Notice where his face cam is located. That's right, the very top left-hand corner, the same place where the test mode watermark is usually located, indicating the use of start positions. The placement of the webcam clearly demonstrate that Riot is attempting to prevent us from noticing the watermark, and I gotta say, it almost worked. Don't believe me? Look at how still his face was at 29%, 56%, and 87%. These are all very good places to put a checkpoint, as the brief stillness here makes the cut nearly impossible to notice. However, there's no pulling the wool over my eyes. In addition, there's a very suspicious section right here. Did you see it? Thanks to the work of other hacker hunters such as Mr. Happy Jr., we've been able to spot many instances of players phasing through blocks in 9 circles levels. You'd think that after all his time exposing other hackers, he would learn not to blatantly noclip. Of course, he will probably try to brush this off by saying that this is a quote-unquote fake block. However, here you can see me doing the exact same thing and dying. Clearly a fake. One last defense that Riot can fall back on is that he supposedly has live stream evidence, proving his legitimacy. However, like citizens of Australia and so-called astronauts supporting the ludicrous Round Earth theory, everyone in Riot's Twitch chat is a paid actor. Having to compensate this many people to vouch for him cuts deep into Riot's profits, hence why he can never afford a proper haircut. <laughs> With that last piece of proof, I think it's safe to say that we have successfully confirmed that Riot is a hacker. Thanks for hearing me out, thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, April Fools! This video is a joke, I obviously believe that he is legit, Riot is not a hacker, and there is no reason to think he is. Good day.